Adobe has announced a new product called Lightroom CC, which may have you a bit confused since Adobe launched Lightroom more than a decade ago. So what's the deal? Hello, I'm Tim Gray and welcome to this look at the new Lightroom CC versus the Lightroom we've known and some of us have loved for about a decade. Lightroom CC is a new software application from Adobe. Well, actually, this new version of Lightroom CC isn't just a software application. It's actually an entire ecosystem for managing your photos. More on that in a moment. But first, what about the software application photographers have known for the last decade as Lightroom? Well, since the new platform has been given the name Lightroom CC, what we previously knew as Lightroom is becoming Lightroom Classic. I will now refrain from any jokes referencing name changes for a certain sugary carbonated beverage. First and foremost, the existing application we called Lightroom will now be referred to as Lightroom Classic, and this application will continue to exist and will still be updated by Adobe. So if you're a photographer, like me, who has created a workflow for organizing, optimizing, and sharing photos using Lightroom, you can still do that. I have nearly 400,000 photos in my Lightroom catalog, and I'll continue using Lightroom to manage my library of photos. I just have to get used to adding the word classic when I'm talking about the version of Lightroom I'll be using in my workflow. The new product that now bears the name Lightroom CC is really much more than a software application. It is rather an ecosystem for managing your photos that can be leveraged across a variety of platforms. Just like the Lightroom, now Lightroom Classic, that we've gotten to know over the past decade, the new Lightroom CC is available as an application on the desktop for Windows and Macintosh computers. However, Lightroom CC can also be accessed from the Lightroom mobile application for smartphones and tablets. You can even access Lightroom from within your web browser. To the sophisticated user of Lightroom Classic, this might all sound familiar. After all, with Lightroom Classic, you can synchronize collections of your photos to make them available through the Lightroom mobile app or via Lightroom in a web browser. But Lightroom CC takes that concept to new heights. In fact, with Lightroom CC, every single one of your photos in the original capture format is synchronized automatically to the cloud. Yes, every single photo you add to Lightroom CC can be accessed in its original form from any device you're using to access the Lightroom CC ecosystem. In other words, Lightroom CC is designed to streamline your workflow with an emphasis on making all of your photos available from absolutely anywhere as long as you can connect to the internet. So, should you start using the new Lightroom CC to manage your photographic workflow? Well, first and foremost, if you are a photographer who has already been using what is now Lightroom Classic to manage your photos, you should absolutely, positively not switch to the new Lightroom CC, at least not right away. There are significant differences between these two versions of Lightroom, and you'll need to understand those differences before considering a change in your workflow. For example, Lightroom CC does away with folders altogether, at least as your workflow is concerned. Your photos will be stored in the background using a date-based folder structure that you don't control. Instead, within Lightroom CC, you'll access your photos by filtering via metadata values, grouping photos into albums, or searching based on keywords or other criteria. Oh, and speaking of keywords, Lightroom CC also includes a feature that I refer to as magical automatic keywords. What that really means is that Lightroom CC will analyze your photos in the background, identifying the objects that appear within the images. You can then search for photos based on the content of your photos. Even if you never added any keywords to your photos, Searching for mountains will reveal photos that contain mountains, and searching for hang glider will reveal photos of hang gliders, and so on. It's like Lightroom CC has added keywords for you automatically in the background, except it's even better than that because the image analysis capabilities will improve over time, making this search option even more powerful. There's no question that Lightroom CC provides an impressive application and ecosystem with a new approach to managing your photos across virtually any device from just about any location. For many photographers, the new Lightroom CC may be a perfect solution. 
However, it's important to keep in mind that Lightroom CC is very much a version 1.0 product. It doesn't have all of the features you might already be making use of in Lightroom Classic or Adobe Camera Raw. For example, with Lightroom CC, you can't yet assemble composite panoramas or high dynamic range HDR, images, and a few of the adjustments you might be familiar with from the develop module in Lightroom Classic or within Adobe Camera Raw are not yet included in Lightroom CC. So even if Lightroom CC may provide a perfect workflow solution for you at some point soon, it might not be quite ready to meet all of your needs right now. So what to do? First, I strongly recommend getting to know the new Lightroom CC. More than a few photographers made a bit of a mess in their catalog in Lightroom Classic because they didn't understand how Lightroom worked before they started using it. That might explain why my course, Cleaning Up Your Mess in Lightroom, is my most popular course in the Gray Learning Library. Lightroom CC is similar in many ways to Lightroom Classic, but there are important differences as well. You'll want to understand these issues before adopting Lightroom CC in your workflow. If Lightroom CC sounds like it might be a good fit for your workflow, I highly recommend taking it for a test drive using duplicate copies of a selection of photos from your library. By getting familiar with the new Lightroom CC, you'll be better able to determine if it's the right fit for your workflow, and you'll be able to define a good workflow using Lightroom CC before you've actually started using this new ecosystem to manage your real library of photos. If you do decide that Lightroom CC might be a good fit for your workflow, you may want to check out my Mastering Lightroom CC video course in the Gray Learning Library. And naturally, we have other courses available if you want to stick with Lightroom Classic or use a different workflow altogether. Perhaps most importantly, I encourage you to give feedback to Adobe. Let them know what you think about the new Lightroom CC ecosystem and let them know what features you'd like to see in Lightroom CC or Lightroom Classic. It has been my experience that Adobe really does listen to this feedback and takes it into account in planning their product updates. I'll be curious to learn what you think about the new Lightroom CC ecosystem from Adobe, and as always, thanks for tuning in.